Surf fishing for beginners is easier than you think. With a bit of research and the right gear, you'll be ready to catch fish from the beach. Let's get started with the tackle you'll need. A rod and reel. A seven to 12 foot medium to heavy action rod with a heavy duty corrosion resistant spinning reel. Line, 17 to 20 pound test line with 30 to 40 pound test leader line will set you up for success in most scenarios. Lures or bait. Lures like jigs, plugs, soft plastics, and metal spoons are great options to have in your tackle box. For the most action, live bait such as shrimp or crabs will do the trick. Hooks. A variety of hooks ranging in size from 1-aught to 10-aught depending on species and size of the bait you're using. Weights. 3 to 8 ounce sinkers can be used. You'll want to use the heavier sinkers when fishing areas with strong current or tidal movement. Once you have your tackle, it's time to start working on learning some surf fishing basics. The challenge to surf fishing is the lack of structure to attract fish. It requires surf anglers to learn how to read the waves, look for color changes in the water, monitor water temperature, and understand migration patterns. Let's talk about troughs. Pay attention to where the waves are breaking off the beach. The area where the waves break is generally where you'll find a trough that runs parallel to the beach. It's near those troughs that you'll find areas of fast moving current where the bait fish and crustaceans will most often be found. Fish schools. Bait fish and schools of larger fish can sometimes swim so close together, it ends up causing a color change in the water. Train your eyes to look for these moving patches of color and you'll be rewarded for your efforts. Birds. Yes, believe it or not, surf fishing basics include observing birds. This is because birds fly above slow moving bait fish, so pay attention to their behavior. Deep shore water. Currents can run along the shore and cause deeper pockets of water. This deeper water usually appears darker than the surrounding water in the area. Bigger fish will move into these shallows and rest or wait for smaller bait fish to pass by. Salt water and tides. Tides raise and lower the water level approximately two times per day and affect where fish are located and how they feed. The timing of a high or low tide changes daily and it's also different for each coastal area. For example, a shallow area that might hold a lot of fish during high tide will end up being a completely bare open sandbar during low tide. In general, rising or falling tides are the best time to fish because it causes the bait fish to move and that can cause the fish to feed. Remember that learning comes from experience, so don't be afraid to get out on the beach, cast your line in the water, and try it out for yourself. That's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Take Me Fishing YouTube channel, and for more helpful fishing tips, visit takemefishing.org.